Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the issues in a designing of a code generator guys. So the input to the code generator. So the input to the code generator is the output of code optimizer or intermediate code generator. That is a post fix or a DAG or a syntax a tree or three address code. So if there are any small errors, which, which in the error code cannot be generated. So basically code cannot be generated if there are any kind of errors. Okay. Similarly, target program. So this is the output of the code generator. So basically the output of the code generator is a never fixed guys. So few will be few compilers, designers who want, who might be requiring assembly language, few might require machine code, few might require reallocatable machine code. So basically this is also an issue that which to decide is a really a huge issue, right? Yes. Okay, so assembly language, it allows the sub program to be separately compiled, reallocated machine language. Okay, so it makes the process of code generation easier. The absolute machine language. Okay, so it should be placed at a fixed location in the memory. So in this way, it will be working. Similarly, memory management. So memory management is nothing but storing all the values in symbol table. So mapping the names in the source program to the address or in symbol table. Okay. So about symbol table. So mapping the names in the source program to the address or in the symbol table. Okay. Similarly, instruction selection. Okay. So speed and instruction selection is more important as we have many options. So basically here we are having multiple options of three address codes and all those things, right? Yes. So basically the selection of code is also important, right? Yes. So if you take a small example, so assume that you are requested or you are required to increment the value guys. Okay. So A is equal to A plus one. So using the assembly code, you can do it. So move A comma R naught. So R naught value is moved into A. Okay. Okay. So add ash one to R naught. So basically to R naught, you are adding a plus one and move R naught to A. So R naught is pushed into A. So this is nothing but a three step increment operation, but the CPU has internally has an operation capacity of increment guys. Hence using increment is far better when compared to these three steps, right? Yes. So hence this selection is really important and a reallocation. So we have a very limited number of registers guys. So basically when we need to reallocate the registers, when we need to use those registers is really important guys. So register allocation and register assignment will also play an important role. So if you notice here, here we used only single R naught and we did the required calculation guys. Yes. Yes. Instead of using temporary variables, you can just directly use these registers and you can do the calculation and all. Okay. Yes. Similarly, the evaluation order. So basically the code evaluation order will also play an important role because sometimes a few code codes on different evaluation will end up at a different different values right yes so the efficiency of the target code can be affected by the order in which the computations are performed also okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea on the issues in design of the code generation okay so I hope everyone got a clear idea. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about blocks guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.